Hey there, Sheepdoggers, and welcome to a very quick little rant video type thing uh, where I'm going to be talking about early access, something I'm not a massive fan of. I think, in essence, it's a good idea, and in practice, it gets exploited and it gets misused, and yeah, it, it's, it's not good. You may have seen in my unfair review, my early unfair review of um, Forsaken Uprising, I almost forgot the name of the bloody thing. Uh, I got some heat from a couple of random people and also from one of the developers uh, who kind of lost it with my video because I said it was crap. I said the game was crap and he basically said your video is crap and you're a troll and I'm now going to ignore you. Which to be fair to him, he has. Uh, and he didn't take down the, the comment which uh, to be honest I think would have been a good idea because uh, it really shows you... <sighs> Just yeah, you can you can go and look at the comments. Um, it's it's up there. It's fairly easy to find. I have this feeling like quite a lot of the hate I've been getting, uh, quite a lot of the comments uh, saying I don't know what I'm talking about and etc. are actually from their friends or family or people they work with or you know whatever. It just has that little feel about it, like they're trying to put in some some positivity about their game, you know, saying like, oh, it's actually a really good game. Talking about early access, the thing that keeps coming up is they go, we're in early access, you can't review a game in early access, you can't criticise a game in early access, you know, it's early access, it's early access, it's early access, you know, we're a small team, etc, etc. And what I want to say very quickly, um, I don't want this video to go on for too long, is basically, early access is not an excuse for a shit game. It's an excuse for unfinished game. If I play a game and I can't go past 30 minutes because it's so horrific, uh, that you can't say, oh, it's in early access, so, you know, so it's fine to charge £15 for it. No, you know, you can't, you can't make a game, charge £15, and then expect people to not review it because it's in early access. Yeah, that that makes no sense. If if you charge money for it, I uh, I feel I am allowed to go. This is not worth the money right now. Um, it may get better. It may get worse. Right at this point, if you look at it and think this could be a good game for me to play for a while, and I can't get past thirty minutes, I'm not going to say, yeah, you know, it's in early access, so give it a break. Buy it anyway. You know. Uh, I, 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 I showed people the game, I told them I didn't like it, I told them I played it for about 30 minutes and it was terrible. Uh, I showed them how, you know, how the NPCs were shit, how, you know, I, I, sh I showed what I felt was cogent, I talked about what I felt was cogent. And yeah, I it's a review, it's my opinion, of course it's biased, of course it's unfair, you know, I didn't enjoy the bloody game. And it's just like... These people jumping on and going, oh, no, you can't judge it because it's an early access. No, I can judge it in early access because you're charging 15 quid for it. Personally, I wouldn't play that game for free, but I'd say £5 is more than enough to charge for that game. For early access, I feel it should be when a game is playable and there's enough features in it to keep you, en to keep you entertained, to keep you going, but you, you kind of... It, it, it's it's for the point you like the idea you like you like what 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 might be coming and the problem it I had with with Forsaken Uprising was I looked at the the page and I thought this looks all right you know it looks a little bit off but you know it, it doesn't look too bad I looked at the trailer I was like huh you know I don't care about graphics too much um, I don't care about you know uh, I don't care about things looking amazing. I just need a game to be playable. I need I need it not to continually break me out of my playing by just going, holy shit, what is that? And the game had so many bugs, you know, like I wasn't a fan of Rust when I played it. And that you know, I played I played Rust and I was like, well, it's alright, but it's kind of shit. Um, you know, it doesn't have that much in it, but you know, what it did have in it was serviceable. It worked, you know, it, it was it was uh, fairly easy to, to get in and to play and to carry on playing. The problem with Forsaken Uprising was it wasn't. You know, you get in and you immediately faced by ridiculous everything. Everything in it was ridiculous. And, you know, one of the things I complained about was, in fact, the graphics and the textures and everything. But that's the point, you know, is like... 
if you're faced with that amount of horrificness, you just gotta go, no, yeah, I'm out, you know? What I wanted to say is, early access is not an excuse. You know, if you have a shit game and I review it, you can't go, oh, we're in early access because, yeah, you may be able to improve the game, but I'm, I'm, when I do my early reviews, when I, when I get a game and I say, wow, this is shit, it's because it's shit at the time. And, you know, I don't want people going out and going, oh, this looks, you know, this idea looks quite interesting, buying a game and then being disappointed with it. You know, like, that's the reason I got the game, because I looked at it, I said, hmm, sounds quite interesting. Uh, so I grabbed it and I said, I'll, I'll, do a, I'll do a stream of it and, you know, people can see it and then I'll do an unfair review and we'll see how it goes. Because uh, I do a lot of survival stuff, I do a lot of zombie stuff, I do a lot of, you know, that that's kind of the area that the game is in. So I, obviously I know you guys, my subscribers, would see it and go, huh. Maybe we we were we were in the stream. I did this. I streamed it for thirty minutes, and it was literally just all of us laughing at the game. A good thirty people there, all going, "Holy shit, this game is atrocious!" So when you get people coming in and going, "Early access," you know, I do my review and I say it's not good. I say it's not worth the money. Don't get it. Uh, and then you get the developers coming in saying, "Early access, only a two-man team." You know, you can't, you can't be, you can't be so harsh to it. I was like, yeah, I can be harsh to the game, because it's not good. It doesn't matter how many people you got working on it. At the end of the day, you're charging fifteen pounds for something that is not worth fifteen pounds. Maybe in the future, if you get more people on board, if you get, you know, they were saying they didn't have a, a graphic artist or anything. If you get some more team on, start making it look a bit better. You know, make it make people feel like they're not in a world run by, I, I don't know, just like, you go in, you go in and the NPC's chasing you and everything, it's just so ridiculous. Um, so yeah, like, maybe later on it'll be worth £15, and that's the problem with early access, is you're paying for something that's not good now, a lot of the time, you know, people say, people, people can say the excuse of, oh, it's early access, it's going to get better, but you don't know that. So when I go in, I judge a game based on the gameplay, based on how much fun I have with it, based on my impressions of it. And the unfair review, of course, is unfair, is biased, because it's just my opinion. I'm not a professional reviewer, I just, I, I give you my opinion, I show you the game. If you want to get it, if you don't want to get it, my input will have very little effect. But uh, I, just, I just wanted to address the whole early access thing, because I think, you know, we're moving into dangerous territory in the gaming industry recently with Kickstarter, with early access, you know, I see I see MMOs going like, oh, early access and, you know, all this shit and it's just getting a bit worrying. Uh, so I wanted to address early access and say, you know, if you come to my unfair reviews and you say you can't judge this game because it's early access, I will basically ignore your comment and go like, well, yeah, you know. Uh, early, early, early access is a cry of a fanboy who knows that his game isn't very good, enjoys it anyway, but can't think up any other excuse. You know, can't you know? Like, if if you if you come to my if you come to my unfair review and go, I like this game, you know, I disagree with you. I like this game. Like, fair enough. I mean, I don't know why you're at a review of it. Like, this is this is this is one of the things that makes me laugh. Is you know, I've had like three or four people come on and go. You know, I really like this game, I've played it a lot, and you're wrong. And it's like, well, what the fuck are you doing at a review then? You know, if if you're if you're not part of the development team, why are you searching for reviews, trying to figure out if you like the game? You know, why are you here, basically? So, yeah, you know, it's, it's a bit ridiculous. Um, uh, screw it. <sighs> at the end of the day, the most important thing to say, and we're getting up on 10 minutes so I'm going to leave it at this is early access is not an excuse for a shit game so just think about that before you post comments saying you know oh you don't know what you're talking about you know this is an early access etc etc if you charge money for a game if you put it out there early in early access then I feel like I have the right to I, I feel like I'd have the right anyway but uh, I feel like I have the right to go yeah 
I'm, I'm going to judge this game, I'm going to tell people whether it's worth buying or not, because they're still spending money. And regardless, or you know, if you if you don't want it to be judged, don't release it for money. You know, wait until it's ready to be released. Uh, you know, early access quite often feels like people can't be asked to spend any money, more money on the game themselves, and they just go, "We'll release it, get money from other people, and then make the game better." Or even just like, oh, a lot of people like survival games, let's release a survival game now, you know, let's do like a month of work on it, release a survival game now, and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll work on it a bit afterwards after we've made a whole load of money, because survival games are hot right now. So anyway, who knows what the real reason is, they, they made that game, all I know is it's not worth the money. <laughs> so, uh, there you go, early access, not an excuse. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you didn't mind this uh, this little rant too much, but I feel like it needed to be fucking said. Um, if you want a good example of an early access game, then Project Zomboid is a great example. You know, one where they've got a good core game and they're just adding to that now. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a survival game, which is harsh, which is kind of, you know, it's got zombies in it. Uh, I stream I stream Project Zomboid. I've got some videos. I've done an unfair review on it. Uh, check the game out, and yeah, that's a good example of what early access games should be like, and what early access game devs should be like. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.